Hello and welcome back to Kakasa with FS Tutorials. In this video, we look at how to register on the electronic fiscal receipting and invoicing solution. Be sure to have watched the previous video covering the FS overview, looking at what it is, how it works, and how to get you started. The direct links to these videos can be found in the description space below this video. To get started, go to the URA web portal by typing www.ura.go.ug look for the e-invoicing tab click on it it will take you to the efris web portal on the right you will see two options login id and password here you enter your team i'll enter my team and my team password click login it will take you to the next page and require you to enter an OTP. You can receive this OTP from Ethquiz through two options. We have email and SMS. So I've opted for email and I've received my OTP. And log on to the system. To register, go to the left hand menu, hover, and it will give you two options first time registration and first time applications first time registration is where you do your first time registration application and first time application is where your applications for first time registration are kept so click on first time registration it will take you to the next form this form has three sections section a section b and section c section a is the taxpayer details your details section b is the purpose of registration a section C, the supporting documents. Section A is auto-populated from eTax using your TIN details that you registered in eTax. You can change this through the amendment process in eTax. Section B has the purpose of registration. Here, we need you to tell us the effective registration date and the invoicing type that you're going to use. Select the date, you can select the current date or a future date, but you can select a past date. Then we move on to registration type, continue and tell us the type of invoicing you're going to use. After selecting invoicing, select the effective date for this mode of invoicing. Next, we shall select the branch. In case your business has multiple branches, you can go to add branches for you to add those branches. So the question will be, do you have any additional place of business? If you say yes, it will allow you to add those branches. If, it, if you say no, it will allow you to continue. Section C will require you to attach supporting documents to your application. For example, the business license. But what you need to note here is, if this column is required has a no, it means the document is not mandatory. If there is a yes, it means the document is mandatory. To upload an item, click on the item and then click upload and submit. To ask you, are you sure I want to submit? You say okay. Once you say okay, you've completed your registration process. To confirm that you're now registered, click on the URA logo to refresh the page and this menu will become longer. This confirms that you're now registered. You can also check on view profile on this right hand icon. Click on this arrow, click view my profile and under your profile registration status will indicate that you're registered. Uganda Revenue Authority. Developing Uganda together.